The intention, the goal of this work is to free the user of um, the cage of uh, screen, mouse and keyboard. The screens are getting larger and larger. Some people have two screens, but it's still pretty much the same way of working with, uh, with your data, with your applications. Uh, you just uh, have windows side by side and you switch between uh, uh, windows, between applications, which is always kind of a mental switch also, a mental context switch. Um, and so we thought of how, how would it be to, um, if the whole table would be just a digital workspace where you can work with your familiar applications like you normally do with paper. Spreading paper on your desk for reading, for writing, for doing whatever, and just do that with your uh, computer programs. And that's uh, a prototype of that. We can just use virtually any application like Google Earth. And the screens are very high resolution and they are capable of, uh, of touch and multi-touch. And so I can use my Google Earth in, in a familiar way, but just if it was a piece of paper on my table. So I can use a web browser and just work with a web browser in, in the same way. Whatever application you are used to, you can use with this system, but on a desk and free just from being aligned to the screen boundaries. Uh, you just uh, spread everything onto the table as you like it and as you prefer it. And that's a much more natural way uh, to work with a computer, but without forcing people to learn a completely new paradigm of working because the, the programs themselves can be still just uh, those the users are familiar with. So we're just adding something to the familiar way uh, of working with the computer, widening up the space, uh, widening up the uh, possibilities of, of, of interaction. You can use touch or we also have the familiar vertical screen in that setup that uh, might be there or might not depending on the particular use case, well, whether it's an engineering workplace or an accounting workplace or a digital content creation workplace. So this is very flexible. You might want to use a mouse so then we just use the mouse from the normal way of working. So this is now pretty standard. But so if we decide to go with that, continue working here, then that's completely seamless. If you really want to uh, type quite quickly and want to have the haptics of a, uh, of a physical keyboard, then you just use it. So we have one here. You just place it where you, where you want, want to use it. Um, that's also just a matter of, of preference and we support as much different input methods as possible. It's running on Linux. The main component is where you normally have the GNOME or the Unity desktop, for instance, that's replaced by our own uh, software component. So essentially it replaces the window manager by a one which can do arbitrary things with 2D and 3D. So freely transformable windows, transformable in, in terms of scale and, uh, and rotation and whatever you want to do with it. And in addition, it's also capable of compositing 3D and 2D content. So we did another prototype, which is a conference table, where people sitting around the table, and because you are not limited to any particular orientation of your application, you just rotate and put every content to the person uh, who is interested in, you create a canvas for collaboration um, without the limitation of only uh, being able to use particular content or work with particular applications. That remains completely free. This is the, uh, a larger scale of this um, continuous display space. We can also enhance this or extend this uh, display and interaction space to large uh, display environments like this tile display wall, which is just made up from off-the-shelf HD televisions and just do the same thing as on the table and just spread our information, our windows, our content across the whole wall. So think of a future office where you have a table like our multi-touch table and then somebody comes in. It gives a means of a very seamless way of, of working between individual work and collaborative work and an in, in environment supporting using your documents everywhere where some display space is available. How big are those screens and therefore what sort of resolution are we talking about here? Each screen has a full HD resolution, so 1920 by 1080, uh, 4 by 4 tiles, it's 8K, yes. 
Wow, okay. So can we watch some films? Yes, yes, of course. That's also a nice, uh, <laughs> that's also a nice environment to watch films. It requires a bit more work on the, on the software infrastructure because it's running on the cluster. Uh, this one just to be able to drive the displays with sufficient performance. Right. And so how many computers are running that at the minute? Four. So each equipped with uh, two graphics cards, so one graphics card has to drive two displays uh, only, so that uh, yeah, just sufficient GPU power is available for each display. You need also a very fast interconnect, uh, so we are investigating different, uh, different high-speed interconnect from uh, InfiniBand to 10 gigabit Ethernet. So those, those, that cluster is just off-the-shelf network, is it? Or? Yes, currently it's just off-the-shelf network and that's what we are currently uh, developing towards to bring that uh, to have high-speed interconnect and also to be able to, uh, to distribute arbitrary uh, content across different nodes in the cluster and uh, all the GPUs along that. So I'm going to bump just this, this one, one only that will fall over, that won't times move. 10 go, ready? To the minus 7. So you don't need to do anything particularly complicated to multiply these two together, 